Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show y'all how I made this super cute 3D jumbo watermelon paper squishy. I actually forgot to film an intro this afternoon while I was making it, but I'm doing it right now and I really like how it turned out. It turned out like super airy and surprising. So yeah, let's just get on to the tutorial. The materials for this paper squishy will be paper, a pencil, coloring supplies, clear tape, scissors, and lastly, you'll be needing your filling. I always use this stuffing I got from Walmart, but you can use like plastic bags or anything around your house. And a black pen for outlining. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start by taking this one sheet of paper and start sketching out a big round circle on the middle of my piece of paper like this and just make it as big as you want it because remember this squishy is gonna be jumbo size our goal for this squishy is to stuff it really good and so when we squish it it doesn't like become flat and it doesn't rise up because the problem with 3d squishies and like really big ones is that sometimes you don't add enough stuffing and it doesn't really turn out good Okay, so now that we have our circle drawn out, we're going to take a black pen and trace it. Now we're going to take another piece of white paper and lay it right on top of the first one. Now we're going to take our black pen and trace over the circle because there's no need for sketching because we have a clear outline of the circle. So now we're going to have two identical circles. Now that we have our front and back of our watermelon, we're going to set one circle aside and work on the first one. Okay guys, so now that we have our circle right here, we're going to pick our colors to color our watermelon. So first I'm going to get this red shade right here, and we're going to need a black for the seeds. So I'm going to pick this one, and then the dark green for the little outside of the circle is going to be maybe this emerald green. This is pretty nice. So now that we have our three colors, we're going to start coloring like the outside of the circle green, then leave a little white spot, and then the red, and then the seeds. Okay, so this is how the first circle turned out. I like it. So now we're going to take our other circle and do the exact same thing. Alright, so now that we have our two circles colored, we're going to take some clear tape and laminate them both. And a few tips while you're laminating your paper squishies, I usually just pull it out like this. Make sure it's not wrinkly as much as you can. It's probably going to wrinkle a little bit, but try to just flatten it so it's as smooth as possible. And then just cut it out, or you can just take a piece of tape like this and i think about right there i cut it and then i get the two ends like this and i place it like that and i think this one gets a little more wrinkly and this one's more straight so try to just take a piece of tape cut it out first 
and then place it on top and smooth it out. Now that it's laminated, it's time to cut it out. Okay, so now that we have our two circles laminated and cut out, we're gonna place them to the side because now we're gonna take a different piece of paper and make the sides for the watermelon. So it's gonna be like this. And you can make it as thick as you want or as not thick as you want. I'm gonna make it like medium size, like, like there. Not too thick, but not too skinny. So we're gonna take a piece of paper and a good idea would be to take, OMG. A good idea would be to take a pencil and we're gonna start out by going to the edge of the longer side, so this way. And we're gonna just measure out how thick we want this side to be. I want mine to be like, around this like right there and then i'm going to fold it so it's like straight you can also use a ruler so it's straight but i like folding the paper because it's just quicker and just make sure the sides match up to the end so you know it's perfectly straight like that so now we're gonna color it like a little squiggly light green and a squiggly dark green so yeah let's get on to coloring Okay guys, so this is how the side looks. It turned out really ugly because I did these little lines and I thought it would look like more detailed, but I guess not, but it's fine, I guess. So now the next step is to get your tape again and laminate it and just cut it out again. And now just cut it out. Okay guys, so once the side of the watermelon is cut out, we're going to basically place a little piece of tape at the end of the piece and we're just gonna tape it like this to the edge of the circle and just put little pieces of tape and tape it around as you can see it's way too short so we're gonna make another piece like this and just tape it together okay guys so this is how it's looking so far i think it's gonna be super squishy and slow rising and as you can see the strip wasn't long enough so i made another one off camera and what we're basically gonna do is just keep taping around and leave a little spot to stuff it and i'm gonna tape this on camera because it's kind of boring when i record it so i'll tape this and then i'll go back on when i'm stuffing it Okay guys, so we finally made it to the last step, which is stuffing our paper squishy. I left this little opening while I was taping it and I'm gonna stuff it with this and hopefully there's enough because we're gonna have to stuff this paper squishy a lot so it doesn't like stay flat when you squish it. Okay, so this is how it looks stuffed and this is how it squishes right now before we tape it shut. So now let's just tape it closed and have our finished paper squishy. Alright, this is how the final paper squishy turned out. I absolutely love it so much. It's so thick and slow rising and I think I stuffed it pretty well and this is how it is. I love the sides. It's like the perfect thickness. And here's the front and back.
OMG, look at this squish. It almost kind of looks like a cake for some reason. It's like a watermelon cake, but not. It's like a slice. But you can make it into a cake if you guys want. Kind of feels like slime. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I loved making this jumbo watermelon paper squishy. And hopefully you guys try this at home because it's so satisfying to play with. And it really got me like on board because like, I was really bored and I was like, hmm, what should I do? So this was really fun to make. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to not miss any more future paper squishy videos. And yeah, bye. Missing some more